So with this situation coming down now, a lot of people didn't know this, but um, Cameron Duncan, uh, who was basically running now uh, boxing promotions, which is uh, what uh, Jerron Ennis was basically um, attached to. Um, now with Cameron Duncan uh, passing away uh, last month, and uh, this is something that I've been thinking about. I was just watching out for it, and... Uh, I was waiting on this news, man, because I, I knew this was going to happen. But it's a report out now that Jerron Ennis is going to be going to court uh, due to breach of contract issues and things that's being placed on him. Um, he's seeking a release. And um, and uh, looking for a judgment in the access of uh, $1 million. Um he seeks to uh, for relief to avoid his uh, current agreement um, with his manager, who's now passed away. Promoter, who, promoter who's now passed away. Um, Cameron Duncan's widow, who's Kelly Duncan, she's now running the business. Uh, she's taking over uh, day-to-day operations. Um, with Jerron Ennis, he received a notice about uh, that she will be uh, assuming duty. Basically around January 28th, 29th, uh, which was 13 days after Cameron Duncan passed. Uh, it's kind of weird. Somebody, like 13 days after someone's husband would pass, they would actually, this is all allegedly, but after their husband would pass, they would actually uh, be thinking about running the business. and It's kind of weird. I'm just throwing it out there. I'm just throwing, even if my dog, I have a dog, I, I had a dog that passed away. And I couldn't really go without hearing the name for two weeks. But we're going to run the business. I don't know, man. It's, it's kind of weird in my eyes. But then um, also, because he's not trying to. Cameron Duncan's prom, promotional company, him being attached to the promotional company. He wasn't attached to the promotional company. Um, Just personality-wise, everything. He was attached to Cameron Duncan. Cameron Duncan's the person that we're doing the business with. You know what I'm saying? And they're trying to say that he was supposed to have a certain amount of fights in year one, year two, four fights, uh, year three, four, uh, three fights. I mean, uh, so year one, uh, I think it was uh, year three, uh, three fights. I think year four, three to two fights, I think. But my thing is this right here. Um, what is going on as far as the situation, um, with, um, Ennis going into the future because they're trying to make it seem like, because they're saying, um, that it was a clause that if, uh, now boxing the unilateral right to extend his contract in the event, he won a major title. So he was elevated to champion. So now that's kind of making it to the point where he's they're trying to make him um be attached to the company because of the clauses in a certain country, but at the same time, like I'm saying, his promoter is not around. So to say that his wife is gonna be running the company, she doesn't have any experience as far as what uh a camera ducking would. So it's kinda of odd to me that but I knew these things were coming down the pipe because at the same time, uh, they've had certain situations with uh, this happening in the NFL with owners and uh, wives taking over and things like that. So this has happened plenty of times. But just from my eyes, why would she want to run the company if she's not experienced? You know what I'm saying? Like, your husband was around and People don't see you usually. Because, like, uh, I've seen uh, Guzman, people in his family, uh, females, uh, Goosen, I think is his name. They've had, they've ran operations and know certain things. And people have seen them around, whether it's a male or a female that's in their family that's attached to them. They've seen them in day-to-day operations. So, Certain fighters wouldn't 
kind of look at that situation and be like, whoa, hold on now, who is she? She's running things around here today? So it's not as far as because she's uh, the wife of uh, the promoter. It's because people don't have a familiarity with her. And this is someone's life. So if she was in that position, I would tell people, hey, her, her promoter just passed away. Let her figure out what she needs to do because she's not familiar with the person who's running it now. That's why sometimes when people move into companies, they kind of say, oh, we're having to clean it out or uh, we're, we're not familiar with these people. You know, I'm new and we don't know each other. Okay, if you've been around this this long and we haven't known each other since before, why, we should, why should we get into a situation where we should be familiar with each other now? You know what I'm saying? Obviously, people say, oh, he's a champion. Oh, he's the, one of the youngest guys. Oh, when I read press clippings, he's up and, company, com up and coming. So let me try to put myself out there to the point where um, – He'll be attached to me, and it won't be no way around it. But, like, I've already reported on certain things that's been going on behind the scenes, but I'm not going to say too much about that because I can't really post that right now. Like, honestly, it's a lot of things I can't post on the open, but I'll post it probably as a membership or something if people want to hear some real stuff, but um, I can't put that out there right now as far as the whole other things, but, um, just the whole situation around that. Um, the promoters, it's kind of hard with promoters. That's why a lot of boxers do not want to sign with promoters. They see other guys locked down with promoters. That's why you see a lot of guys say, oh, I want to do a one fight deal. I want to do a three fight deal. I want to do this fight deal. That's why you see a lot of guys like Canelo do that. They're not going to sign for five years, 10 years because, then a lot of people say, oh, why was Terrence Crawford in that situation? Because you got a lot of people who feel like, well, we brought him to the table and built him up, so let's benefit from everything, which is understandable. But when you start to hamper somebody's career because you're trying to get an extra buck, it kind of, I mean, you just got to find a fine line between that. Instead of people saying, well, we were trying to work it out and, well, let you build your name up and see if we can do something in the future because, you know, we're family, so let's just try to uh, do those things. I've never heard of a, like, in most cases, boxers aren't usually disloyal. The ones who are disloyal, as boxers, they've been taught that way or they have families that's in boxing, but most of the time, the ones that aren't, aren't disloyal, but at the same time, though, you only, you don't have you can't hold value over uh you can't hold nothing over a boxer's head when he's came into the game. He has to do everything on his own. He has to train. He has to go out there and fight. So, I mean, I know a lot of people in the business area kind of feel like, well, but in my in this case right here, like, no, nah, people don't really know her like that. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, they probably do, but no, nah, it don't sound like too many people is comfortable with her running the operations like that. I mean, maybe she has had some things, but from what I've heard around, I don't know. I haven't seen too many people kind of doing certain things, but uh, Jerron Ennis, he, and then <laughs> he's just in a situation where you got to work it out, but I understand what he's doing, but kind of, it ain't his fault that his promoter has had an issue, you know what I'm saying? But, at the end of the day, it's his life as well. We what we what we were a month out since the guys passed away, and we and Jerron Ennis, he's trying to figure out. I don't know, man. I don't know. I would have felt like maybe she would have said, "Well, let me just let him do what he needs to do because I really don't." But that's just crazy though to kind of hold on to him and kind of keep keep him in that situation. I don't know. I feel like other people are probably. In, in their ear, but I don't know everybody that was working around them and attached to the promotional company, but um, that's just odd to me, man. It really is. But uh, Jerron Ennis definitely going to get out of this situation, whether he has to, whatever it is, he's going to get out of the situation. Because at the end of the day, um, we're talking about a whole different person this man was attached to. You know what I'm saying? And now we're, nah, he's going to get out of the situation. But uh, I don't know.
through all through all things, you know, it can happen. But uh, that's all I got.